So always check your landing and make sure that you have a good 332 landing all the way around. First thing first, we're gonna go ahead and flip them. Grab your 332 spacer, stick it inside, just like that. You want a long arc back and forth, a tiny bit, not too much, and watch your puddle connect. All right, so what you're gonna do now, you're gonna flip this back to the other side, and you're gonna tack your runoff tabs. And they're gonna go against your plate on the very edge, just like that. Now it doesn't have to be perfect because these are just runoff tabs, okay? Now we have it nice and tacked at a 1G position. Now we're gonna go ahead and start doing our route. I'm gonna start warming up my metal from way back here, and then I'm gonna start moving forward. The angle that I'm gonna use here on my 6010, 1 8, I want you to lean the back part of the rod, lean it towards you 10, 15 degrees, and then 10, 15 degrees to the right. Now what I'm gonna do, I, I stopped maybe about halfway, I didn't have any more material. Feather your keyhole nice and thin, all right? Feather it nice and thin. So now when I restart, I'm gonna go ahead and start warming up my metal from where I started grinding. You're gonna start applying pressure and you're gonna start stitching back and forth, doing that little oval take. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, we just did a root pass. Now, we're gonna be doing a hot pass at 130 amps, plus or minus, that means it's pretty hot. So be very careful. All we're gonna be doing is going from wall to wall, pretty much zigzagging. So, what are we gonna do now? We're gonna keep flushing it out all the way to the, to the very edge until it's full. But now, from this point, you can actually start doing your stringers. What we're gonna do here, we're gonna have our puddle roughly an average, okay, and meet up halfway of our very first fill. Now we're gonna do the one on top of it. Same concept, I'm gonna meet up 50%. Uh, at the bottom, and then I'm gonna make sure that the edge, the top edge of our puddle, touches the top wall. Sometimes you might see that you're probably putting more metal on one side than the other side, so eventually you're gonna start uh, stacking or growing uneven. It's not a problem. Do not worry, do not hesitate. All you gotta do is even it out. Now we are done with our fill. Nicely flush and ready to cap. So remember you can cap it under flush, slightly under flush, or perfectly flush. One technique that I like to do is I always like to grind a line uh, on my cap. We're gonna go ahead and start capping. You're gonna have your circle, you're gonna have your puddle. I want you to put your puddle right in the center of that guideline. There you have it. We just finished this 1G stick out on a one inch plate. Visit weldlife.com and shop our best-selling premium welding goods shown in this video.